In this video, we've got two days of fossil hunting. Just got to the beach now, so time to head down and have a look around. It's a lot of fresh shale and clay to be having a look through. Not sure how much the tide has actually washed all of this, but there's still a lot of potential. Some of these ammonite fossils are pretty difficult to spot, especially when they've first just been revealed. Haven't seen anything just yet. Finally found the first fossil of the day. It's only tiny, but we've got ourselves a little ammonite fossil here. We have a partial ammonite right there. But again, it's not something that's worth taking. I had a quick look through some of this shale over here, but there was absolutely nothing. We'll check this part of the beach next. Lots of sand and pebbles. I can see a fair few fragments of ammonites dotted about the beach. After searching for a good couple of hours, we ended up finding pretty much nothing at all. We literally just found that one ammonite fossil. Just goes to show that you don't always find many fossils. In fact, the majority of times we go out, we don't really find much at all. Hopefully we'll find more fossils in day two. We've already found a really interesting fossil fish piece which I'll be showing you at the end of the video. First off we're gonna have a look for a couple of ammonites then I'll show you the piece that we ended up finding right at the end. Also regarding the fossilized fish piece my dad is going to fully prepare it and I'll get to show you that at the end of the video as well. Should be a really good find to look forward to. Let's get started and have a look for some ammonites. Pretty much straight away I've already spotted a perfect ammonite fossil. I'll pan across and see if you can see where this one is. Should be a pretty easy one for the first fossil of today. Right down there. This one looks to be a perfect specimen. Oh, it looks it as well. Maybe a tiny bit missing there. Bit of natural predation. However, looks like a great first find. Let's look for some more. There's so many pieces of nodules and shale to be looking through. Oh, nice. That's got another ammonite inside. Looks like a much bigger specimen than the one we've just found. It's two fossils in quick succession. Wonder what else we're going to find. Another intriguing lump there. It's had a small specimen, but it's already been opened. It's been part of a bigger fossil there. Not being fully preserved by the looks of things. So it looks like... Those two fossils we initially found pretty much are the only fossils around here. It's really unbelievable. Finally came across a different type of fossil. We've got here quite a few of the squid-like creatures all preserved next to each other. Really eroded though. Pretty unbelievably, we ended up finding no other fossils whatsoever. Let's open up the first two ammonites and then we'll move on to having a look at that fossil fish. Let's open up this nodule. Some of it started to be revealed already. Let's reveal some more of it. There's even more of it. This will be a pretty lovely ammonite. It's got a really thick keel around it. I think what we'll do is leave this one as it is and we can prepare the rest of it at home with the finer tools. Should be a pretty interesting species. Let's open up the next one. This is the smaller ammonite that we initially found. There we go. Pretty nice ammonite's been revealed. The outer edge wasn't preserved as we initially knew. Bit of preparation work and the centre of the ammonite will all be there. We've got ourselves lovely pyritic ammonite. Really pleased with this. Two nice ammonites. how this outer wall is really quite narrow compared to this one even though the ammonites are slightly different sizes the proportion of the worlds is much different certainly the one on the left is a lot more uncommon pretty nice In its current state, it's really hard to tell what this fossil is. It looks to be some sort of fish skull. However, I'm not entirely certain. It's definitely some part of a fossil fish. If it turns out to be a fish skull, it's really, really rare. I'll show you a close-up now of some of the intricate details on the fossil. You can see just how intricate it really is. Let's look at all those fine details. It's going to be a really fragile fossil to prepare. These, in theory, are either parts of the skull or scales. It's really hard to know which. We'll take it home and let our dad prepare it and I'll show you what it turns out to be. Great. Looking forward to seeing the finished result. 
going to head home now and our dad will prepare the fossil fish over the next few days. I'll put the finished fossil at the end of the video so you can have a look at it. We're now back at the fossil preparation workshop and our dad has started preparing this fossilised fish piece. Gently using the air abrasives, we are going to carefully remove the shale which is covering this Jurassic fossil. This tool is incredibly useful for preparing delicate fossils such as this. Although we've only got a few minutes to show you the overall preparation process, preparing this fossil from start to finish actually took a few hours. You can see here one of the other projects we're working on. The fossil we just saw was part of an ichthyosaur paddle, and we'll be showing you more of that in another video. Here we've exposed much of the fish. You can see it's actually a fossilised fish skull. It's looking incredible. A couple of hours later and it's finally finished. You can see all of these intricate details which we've carefully revealed. A fossil such as this is really rare. We were so lucky to find it before the sea had completely eroded it away and destroyed it. The skull is complete with the orbit of the fish as well as the jaws. It's one of the most intact fish skulls we have from this species of Jurassic fish. What a superb find. Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will, however these have the best chance. If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils, or alternatively visit our official website, yorkshirefossils.net, for both ammonites to open yourself, as well as fully prepared specimens. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them, and thanks in advance for supporting what we do. There we have it. I hope you've enjoyed the video overall. Thanks for watching. We've got a lot more exciting finds to come in the next few videos. Coming up next, we've got several clips from other fossils which we found on some of our most recent fossil hunts. Laid within some soft shale, there were three squid fossils, all preserved. We're going to excavate the perfect specimen on the right. Removing some of the soft shale, we gently start to expose the fossil. These are almost always naturally fractured as found so we gently remove each piece. Putting it back together, we can see a perfect Jurassic squid fossil. We'll be able to take it home and fully restore the rest of it. It's a really nice find that we found, literally just laid there, waiting to be exposed. We went fossil hunting after a storm and found this rock, sat waiting to be picked up. We could see immediately there was a fossil inside, so let's open it up. Having a look inside, we can see a pretty nice preserved ammonite, which hopefully would look like this once prepared. We also found another rock which we opened, and had an even nicer pyritic ammonite specimen preserved within. These were a couple of really cool ammonite finds. On the beach we noticed this huge shale fall had come down and around the edge of some of the shale we spotted a limestone rock from the Jurassic. Using our tools we began excavating it. Turned out to be really challenging to remove this rock. After several minutes of attempting we finally managed to reveal it. Not only once we got down into the rock was it hard to open, but it looked like it was going to be totally empty until the last moment we spotted this. A tiny ammonite fossil preserved within the limestone. 
We were hoping for a much bigger specimen, but nonetheless, we're really happy with this one. We hope you've enjoyed this video overall. If you like this style of video, please let us know down in the comments and we can make some more just like it. We've been working hard on many other preparation projects at the moment. Still a lot of work left to do. Preparing some of these fossils takes hundreds of hours, but hopefully we can show you them as soon as they're prepared. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, wow, that's incredible. That's a beauty.